All right, so we're with this 2010 uh, Nissan Maxima, and we're burping the coolant off. We had it running for a minute, and supposed to be pushing out 14 volts, not 15 volts. Uh, take a look at that, guys. Six volts, just in case you guys think that I'm not at the six cylinder. But let's shit for giggles. Let's just put it over at the four and eight. And let's go from volts and let's go to amps. And the amps are spiking way above. I don't know if you guys can see that. There it goes a little bit clearer for me. Let's go back down to the volts. It's up at 15. Let's go uh, resisting. Uh, we're spiking. Uh, D wells up at zero. RPMs are down. And so when I go back to I'm in voltage, so you guys can see I'm in the voltage range. And take a look at the voltage. I'm spiking at 15. So people say new parts will never get damaged or anything, and um, here we are with this particular uh, alternator. Mind you, it's a pain in the butt to begin with. Um, put a receipt in there. That is the part. Came from O'Reilly's. And again. You guys will say, oh, Mike, how did you check the fuse? I did more than check the fuse. I've been checking different areas just to see where the spike is. And for shits and giggles, like I said, I can't get it down there, but I wanted to test it at the uh, alternator. But we have a couple of leads here. Um, this thing over here could be fouled up. Um, as you see, Corrosion, had a cleaning. Had to do some cleaning, but uh, my suspicion is in this. We checked the fuse and everything, and again, I want you to take a look. That is 15 amps. Uh, I mean, sorry, 15 volts. Take a look. Hey, what's up? That is 15 volts. Pushing out 15, and um, yes, that's not bad. All right. So I'm gonna disconnect this. I'm gonna plug it back in. I want you to pay attention to the voltage. See the voltage? 15.45 volts coming out of this puppy and it's going and it's still giving me <clears throat> the over the, the battery light car's been fixed I'm probably going to say I need a Nissan scanner. And again, 
spiking. Mind you, it says 15.5 volts on the thing. And this is what it's reading. Mind you, anything over 15 is overcharging and over amping the vehicle. And take a look. So when they say quality control and all of this, this is why we pay a little bit more for peace of mind. Because now I have to go back in there and rip that alternator out and um, tell them that it's faulty because again, car should be 14 volts. Anything beyond 14 volts, you're putting a lot of stress on electronics and um, fuse is not blown. Let me... Sorry guys, I really hate doing this. But because these things are not working, well, right now that is the peace of mind that is keeping me safe from getting my head, you know, banged out. Sorry, feel like a newbie trying to open up a um, fuse box and we're gonna go here and it says L-A-T-N-R, 10 amps. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it is the second one down from the relay, fan relay, horn relay. So let's look for where those relays are. And those say it's two relays. And we're going with the second one showing four holes. And we're going with the second one. So take a look at that. I'm gonna pull this one out and nothing drops and if we look at the fuse this fuse is good Take a look, nothing is changing. Just fluctuated as I put the fuse back in and nothing fluctuated back out. So, anyone else has uh, these type of problems? Audio and ignition switch. Well, 15 amps way overdoing it that it will kill any electronics and overload any electronics. Anyone else can say no about it. 14 volts would be pushing it. 13.5 is okay.